Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to tonight's broadcast of the Bryant Hornets versus the Cabot Panthers. I'm Tristan Harlan. And I'm Cooper Melder. Last week, well, two weeks ago, the Panthers took on the Conway Wampus Cats. Let's go to the Panther Forum and see highlights from that week's game. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Panther Forum. I'm Tristan Harlan. And I'm Cooper Melder. In the last game, the Panthers took on the Conway Wampus Cats in their homecoming game. Let's take a look at the highlights from last week's game. The Panthers would go scoreless in the first half, but at the beginning of third quarter of play, they would find Kyler Carmack in the end zone. And then the Panthers were on a roll with a jet sweep by Trey Burtz on getting it a seven point game. Tyler G would find Connor Oregon open on a screenplay that would give the Panthers another six points. After the play, Cabot continued scoring when Tyler G found Connor Oregon once again for another touchdown. The Panthers would take their first lead of tonight's game as they found Kylie Carmack wide open in the end zone. The Panthers would continue their scoring efforts late in the fourth quarter as Tyler G would roll at the pocket, look downfield, and find Kyler Carmack with another touchdown on this play. The Panthers would put up one last drive as Tyler G found Trey Birdsong in the back corner of the end zone but falling three points short. Tonight, the Panthers take on the undefeated Bryant Hornets and Bryant in what looks to be an exciting game. The Panthers look to improve to 6-1 and one after the cancellation of their last game against Central, which would have been at home. We hope you enjoyed tonight's game. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, go, go Panthers! Cooper, after not having a game last week to due to everything going on in the world today, do you think that's going to affect the Panthers in tonight's game? I feel like that would give us more time to prep for this game, so I feel like it really won't affect us too much as we had two weeks to prepare for this game, and Bryant's a really good team, so I feel like it would help us more than anything. Now, real quick, do you think that tonight's game and not having a game last week is going to affect the Panthers in the potential playoff rankings coming up soon? I'm sure it will because we missed a game and it won't be made up, so we could see some switching up in playoff rankings. We're going to be right back into this, guys. Hope you enjoy the game and go Panthers. Here's a good parking spot. All right, man, I'm excited about tonight's man, game. Man, I love this gladiator. You know we're going to win. We got this in the bag. This is a no-brainer, JoJo. And we got to drive this awesome oh, red Cabot uh, Panther. It's Cabot Panther red. Gladiator to the game. I mean, you this know, the sun's out, the guns are out, which I love. The guns are out? Yes, they are. On the I flight. see the hat. Wow, know. that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Did you get some new sunglasses? I did, thank Them you. They were pretty sweet. Yeah. But, man, I'm excited about tonight's game. It's going to be awesome. We're going to win. Go Panthers. So, hey, you know what? All they have to do is give us a call, Red River Dodge, and uh, we'll take care of them. They can visit our website at redriverdodge.com. They can. I mean, here's the thing. They're going to be on the way to the game. Call us up. We'll deliver it to them. I mean, at Red River, we deliver. So. It doesn't get any It's a win-win, just really like the is. game tonight. Exactly. Go Panthers. Let's get this game won. All right, hey, let's go to the game check it out, all right? I can't wait. All right, go Panthers, right? Let's do all right, dude. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to tonight's game. You just watched the Panther Forum for this week's game coming up and just saw the Red River Dodge commercial. I'm Cooper Melder here with Tristan Harlan as we take on the undefeated Bryant Hornets. Tristan, how are you tonight? Man, let me tell you, I'm good. I'm cold a little bit, but I'm ready for some Cabot Panther football here in Bryant, Arkansas, as the Hornets just took the field. I'm ready to see this Panther team back on the field because, you know, like I said earlier, last week we didn't have a game due to everything going on. And I, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, man. I missed it. I missed being out on here. I missed talking to everybody on the YouTube channel. I missed it all. So I'm, I'm excited to be back in this situation to potentially upset the Bryant Hornets. Yeah, it was weird. Last Friday coming around 7 o'clock, I'm like, I have to be somewhere, but thinking we didn't have a game. So that, I really missed it. I'm glad to be back. The Panthers are coming off of a close homecoming loss, which just gives us more confidence to come out here and pl to play tonight's game and upset the Bryant Hornets. Well, in the last game that we played against the Wampus Cats, there was a few mental mistakes there late in the game after the 21-zip comeback we had in the second half. However, due to the cold, we could see a lot 
uh, you know, drop balls due to the cold hitting the glove, and it could sting a little bit on the hand. So once the players kind of get used to that sort of feel of the ball, it should be just like normal Cap and Panther football. Oh, for sure. At the beginning of the game, you're going to be a little cold, but once you get moving, you don't even notice it. But we do have a very strong wind going towards the left of us. You can't, don't know which towards the Hornets, so Bryant will have the wind behind him. The Panthers are receiving, so the Hornets will get the ball to start the second half. We're getting just a little bit ready here for some Pan Panther football action here in Bryant, and ladies and gentlemen, I apologize if you hear the wind in the mics tonight. There's nothing we could do to beat that strong hur hurricane-type wind. However, here comes the kick to open up the game, and there it is. It's a high, deep kick. It's gonna, not going to be returnable as it's just going to bounce into the end zone for a touchback. So here come your Cabot Panthers, Tyler G, Tyler Carmack, Trey Birdsong, Jay Parks, people like those playmaking action type players are what you love to see on your football team. How is that going to affect us tonight against the Hornets? Well, with the Panthers, they'll be going against the wind right now, so I don't think we'll see passing much. If any, it will be short, so we'll be keeping it on the ground. And we just got to play our ball, no mental mistakes, because Bryant's a good team, and they will capitalize off of turnovers. Well, here we go. First and 10 from Cabot's own 20. G, shotgun formation, calls for the snap. He'll fake the handoff. He'll roll. He has a man coming. He throws it high. That's just going to be overthrown, incomplete, intended there for number five, Braden J. We'll be seeing Braden J a lot tonight, along with Kyler Carmack. And one thing I noticed on the kickoff, Bryant did kick it to Braden Jay, which if that ball was in play, we've seen Jay take it to the house many times this year. And you know, there's a lot of guys that we're kind of missing on this, especially on the defensive side of the ball here tonight, like Jam Riles, he's still out due to injury. And Landon Meek, he got quarantined not too long ago, so we're without him as well tonight. And that we're really weak at the safety position, but we do have Justin Carnes and Micah Silver to fill in, and they are two great players, big hitters. We've seen Carnes get a couple interceptions and seen Silver lay some big hits later this season. Well, there was a flag on the play. It looks like it was on the Hornets. It was an offside call, so the Panthers will move up a couple yards here. As now it is a second and five on their own 25 with 11.54 left in the first quarter of play. Here we go. G, shotgun formation, has two outright. Sends a man in motion. He's going to hand it off to, looks to be Jay. Jay's just pushed out to the outside. Looks like he didn't gain a single yard on that play. Third down coming up for the Panthers. Well, the Panthers went with a jet sweep there to Jay, and we've seen Jay, if he gets the blocks, even if he doesn't get too many, he'll make a move, juke you out, break a tackle. So it'll be a third and a long four. Well, this is what the Panthers sort of, do well, they convert on those fourth, third downs, excuse me, early in the game. So here we go. G sends a man in motion once again. He'll roll, looks, throws it deep, has a man. That's going to be caught, and he's, he's still, still going. Up. Oh, he gets thrown back by his collar by the back plate of his shoulder pads there. That was number three, Kyler Carmack on the reception. What a great route. He came off, G faked the handoff, did a bootleg pass, and Carmack put a move. Went to the sideline, caught it, shook a defender, and got more after the catch. Number 81, Connor Oregon checks into the game now. And don't forget, last last two two weeks ago against Conway, Connor had two big touchdowns late in the game that really sort of solidified the comeback for the Panthers. It was amazing. We had a great tight end screenplay, and then he was just wide open on the next touchdown. Here we go. First down, G rolls, pump fakes once. He's going to keep rolling. He looks, he's going to throw it off his back foot, but that's just going to be incomplete short there. Looked like he may have attended it there for number three, Kyler Carmack. Second down coming up for the Panthers. That was the best thing G could do there. He didn't have really anyone, and in high school football, you can't throw the ball out of bounds, even if you're outside of the pocket. So he just threw it, kept it in bounds all for somebody. So it'll be second and 10 coming up for the Panthers. Ball's on the 47 of Cabot. 11.09 left here in the first quarter. Cabot trying to get into Bryant territory on this play here. G, shotgun, calls for the snap. Shovel pass there to Jay. Jay tries to break away from one. He does, breaks away from another before he is dropped right outside the 50 yard line. Third down coming up for the Panthers. That was a great play by Jay. He made something out of nothing. Now he may have only got two or three yards, but I'll take a third and seven other than a third and 10 or a loss of downs. 
Well, the clock is going to continue to run after the run play. So big third down coming up for the Panthers as they want to get the first the momentum on their side early on in the game to make Bryant sort of force something that isn't there. And you really don't want to punt it as you'll be punting into the strong win here. Third down here for the Panthers. G shotgun formation still calls for the snap. He fumbles the snap. He falls on it. Looks like he'll have it. He is still on the ground. G looked like G jumped on it. So it looks like Cabot will keep it as the fourth down is coming up as the punting unit does uh, come onto the field. And that was just a bad play there. G did not look into the snap. He called for it. And then before the snap could even get to him, he was already looking up. He did not follow that snap in. So it'll be a fourth and long. Well, here's something that the Panthers haven't done a lot this season is punting the ball on fourth down. Cooper, do you think that we're going to see a lot of this more coming on deep in conference play? Well, depending how deep we are in the backfield will depend if we're punting and where we're at on the field. So it will be down around the 50-yard line for Bryant, who will have great field position coming out on their first shot. Well, Cooper, just like you said, just like you said, you would not want to punt against a strong win, and Cabot did it, and it gave Bryant great field position. So here comes the first defensive possession for Cabot, looking to see what some of the guys can do on the, on the safety position, like we talked about earlier, with the absence of uh, Landon Meek and Jaden Rawls. So here we go, first and ten on the 49 for Bryant. Ledbetter shotgun formation, calls for the it's calls for the snap. He'll hand the ball off. He's around in to the inside. Looks like he'll go nowhere. Dropped at the 50. That looked like it was number 21 on the play. Xavier Foot on the run. There's two 21s there. Get it. So we'll have Xavier Foot as starting for Brian at the running back. Second and eight here for the Hornets. Brian's got a pretty good football team this year. The, the most points anybody has scored on him was 40. 44, which was against Trinity Baptist in Texas. Foot gets the handoff once again. He's around to the outside. Steps in. He'll be brought down. Looks like he he won't be have enough for the first down there. And with a big running back like that, the Panthers are going to have to get low on him and wrap up. You can just hit him, wrap him up. Don't let him get away. You'll have your Panthers over there to finish off the job. You just have to hit him, wrap up, and you'll be fine. Looks like they did say he did get enough for the first down here. So first and 10 for the Hornets. Ledbetter calls for the snap. He'll fake it, throws it. That'll be, has a man wide open as he's around to the 20. Still going. He's at the 10, the 5, before he looks like he was pushed out. But I think they're going to give it to him. Touchdown, Bryant. And just a great play there by Bryant. A little slant route, and he just took it to the house from there. That was number 7, Corey Nichols on the reception. Well, that I mean, that's what we were talking about early on in the game, leaving your man open, having that little weak spot there for the Panthers to kind of capital for the Hornets to capitalize on, and they did. So right now it's seven nothing, or excuse me, six nothing. After the PAT, will be seven nothing if he makes it. Kick is up. Damn it's going to be good. So seven nothing is your score for Bryant. Eight forty two left in the first quarter of play. And then the Panthers in tonight's game with a Bryant coming to to. Um, state championships in a row with a team this good you can't have mental mistakes like we had on the last drive where we let the snap go 10 yards behind us we have to almost play perfect in tonight's game if we're going to want to win as good as brian is well we're going to especially these guys like tyler parks and houston wiley to step up on our defensive side to make to ensure that bryant doesn't get those five yard passes 10 yard passes that turns in to 20 30 40 yard passes that ends up putting points on the board for them and going with their d-line and linebackers with a good running back that bryant has just wrap up and hold on for dear life because if you can do that he'll get brought down sooner or later well the first kick of the game we saw it go to Braden dangerous jay but it was a touchback so Looks like they're going to go to Jay again, but it looks like it's going to be in the end zone for another touchback. Yeah, with the wind behind them, it's really carrying the ball far into the end zone. Which that could that could potentially play advantage for the Hornets late in the game. Excuse the wind, it's kind of it's, it's kicking up now. We're trying our best to cover it here. That wind's really cold, not going to lie. <laughs> I mean, I got a hoodie if you want it, my friend. I'm good right now. Just It's, it's big shots of wind that just come out of nowhere. Yeah, we're not used to it down south. We're not used to these cold gusts <laughs> of wind. The Panthers will be back out on offense with Tyler G and Mason Bell in the backfield. 
First and 10 for the Panthers here. G calls for the snap. He'll hand it off to Bell. Bell's around to the outside. He just gets dropped before he gains maybe four, three or four on the play. And that was, I'm fine with only getting three or four yards. As long as we're getting positive yards on the run game, I'll take it. Because the, all, the amount of yards you need, you only need three yards every play. You get three yards, four plays in a row, that's 12 yards in a first down. I do believe they did say he got three yards on the play. So here comes a second and seven for the Panthers. G. Still, and still in that shotgun formation. Set the man in motion. Calls for the snap, almost blows out of his hands. He's rolling, has a man that's gonna be caught by number 82 on the play. That's number 82, Braden Roberts, who is a, one of the Cabot Panthers starting players on the basketball team. And you know, last year during the basketball season, he was kind of that short shooter facilitator that would come into the game and make those quick threes that you needed, but now he's catching footballs on the football field for us. I like it. Multi-talented athlete there. Third and four here for the Panthers. G sends a man in motion. It's gonna be Carmack, calls for the snap. G draws back, looks, has a man, throws it deep to Jay. Jay's gonna catch it. He's at the 45, the 50, before he's taken down at about the 45 yard line. First down for your Cabot Panthers. I thought Jay was gonna break that off. Just Bryant Corner had a good hold on his jersey there to pull him down. Jay was about to be gone and the Panthers are on a drive right now. What a great pass that was to Jay. What a great pass that was to Jay. We've seen him, like you said, write those off like he did earlier in the season, but glad we got that first down there. We are officially now for the first time tonight in Bryant territory. No mental mistakes. You don't need any dumb false starts or a fumble here. G calls for the snap. He'll hand the ball off. Trying to get something out of nothing. He'll be, looks like he didn't even gain a thing there. That was number 20, Jacob Parks on the carry. Looks like he was tackled for a loss of one there, so it'll be second and 11 coming up. Ball is on about the 45 yard line for on the Bryant 45 yard line, excuse me. But a second 11 is coming up for the Panthers as he did lose one of the play. 6.53 left to go here in the first quarter. Bryant still up seven, nothing. G. Calling for the snap here. We'll hand it off once again. Around the outside, he has open green, has one man. He pushes him out of bounds around the 30 yard line. That was number 24 on the play. Jacob Parks on the run once again. Excuse you, that was number 24, Mason Bell on the carry as he broke around the outside and there was no one to be found and he got a good 12 yard gain for a Panther first down. Mental mistakes, we, gotta st we, don't, have, we don't need to have them either, Cooper. That's my bad. 24, Mason Bell, 20, Jacob Parks. Thank you. Here we go. First down here for the Panthers on the 32 of Bryant. G calls for the snap. Hands it off once again in the inside. Looked like he gained around two or three there, and that's number 24, Mason Bell, Harlan. All right. It'll be all right. It's still early. It's still early. We I, got can, I can redeem we, myself. We got it. It'll be second and nine here coming up for the Cabot Panthers. Got a little rust on me from not calling a game last week. It's <laughs> just those jitters coming out. Maybe the wind's getting to you. Yeah. Second and nine here, 6'10", ball on the 31-yard line. G calls for the snap, fakes the handoff. He rolls. He has a man rushing him before he sacked back at the 50-yard line. And that's like a 25-yard loss, and G, he just kept – running backwards, he should have at least, I know, just thrown the ball away and just took a 10 yard penalty, but now we're backed up at least 25 yards there. Well, that was a tremendous loss there for the Panthers. However, I've seen, we've both seen the Panthers kind of capitalize on big mistakes and turned them into points. We have seen this right now. If you're not going to be able to get the first down, get as many yards as you can to even to set up maybe the punt team. I would say field goal team, but the wind blowing out against us is just big. As that was a run up the middle there. Fourth down coming up for the Panthers. That was number 24, Mason Bell, and they will be sending the punt unit back on here. Hopefully they can pin Bryant D maybe stop him around the five yard line and give Bryant bad field position to start with. That's two offensive drives for the Panthers so far where they're not able to get nothing here. Uh, 
number 36 still in Sampson punting for the Panthers. And it's oh. a high snap, and he will just fall on the ground, and Bryant is looking for the ball, and Bryant does have it, and so they will have great field position as they'll start on the 30, their own 36-yard line. Well, I get a mental mistake still early on in tonight's game. And with, you can't have that. We had a drive going. We had one guy break through the line, sack G, and then we just, we got a good run, got us some yards, and to, we try to pin Bryant deep, and then we just fumble the snap over our punter's head, and you can't have that as Bryant capitalized off of early turnovers, and this is why they're one of the best teams in the state. First and 10 here for the Hornets. Ledbetter sends a man in motion. He'll hand the ball off, round to the outside, before he's taken out by the legs there by number two, Tyler Parse. So that's number three on the run, Jamarian Bracey. That was a good tackle by Parts as he got low, wrapped up, and brought the man down. It will be a four-yard gain there for the Hornets. Second down here for the Hornets. 4-10 left to go here in the first quarter of play. Led better in shotgun formation here. Has two receivers out wide, one left, one right. Led better. Hands the ball off before he yeah, drops down in the backfield. That's something that we need a big for the defense there. That's number number 53 for the Panthers. I think that's Josh Martin coming up big there. Great tackle there. Got him in the backfield. So it'll be third and 10 for the Hornets. And if you're the Panthers defense, you need to stop them here. You don't need to give up that kind of short pass that we, we're normally giving up on big third downs like this. Because they made short passes into touchdowns as we saw their first score in tonight's game. Third down from the 37, Ledbetter drops back, looks, throws it deep, has a man wide open. And he caught it as Tyler Parks tried to bring it out at the last second. And the Bryant Hornets do score as number seven once again for the Hornets. That's Corey Nichols scoring his second point, second touchdown in tonight's game as he just got behind the Panthers secondary real easy. Well, that's something. Tyler, I mean, give Tyler Parks credit. He tried to get back on the play. He tried to knock the ball out of the receiver's hands, but he just was too late. He tried to give him too much space, and that's what happens when you give good receivers like that too much space. They'll beat you 99.9% .9 of the time, and that, I mean, that's, that's expected of plays like that. The Bryant Hornets are up 14 to nothing, just like that with 315 left in the first quarter. Here comes the return team for the Panthers now. Jay still looking for his ret first return of the night. Jay's back there with number 24, Mason Bell. And so far the ball's just being kicked into the end zone with the wind behind it. The offense, offense so far has been playing decently I mean they haven't they been playing have, bad been at all playing good it's just these it's just one play that ruins the whole drive I mean we were driving downfield and then G rolled out and just got sacked and then we had a snap over the punter and you just can't have it in these type of games here comes the kick from Bryant it's a high wind's gonna that's be returnable for Jay he's gonna return it just outside the goal line he has good blocks from his kickoff team before he's brought down from behind at around the 17-yard line, maybe. Here comes the Panthers' offensive unit now. Two, two offensive possessions so far, zero points. They've had a lot of gains with a big pass to Braden Jay, but we just need to continue. To, we just need to continue punishing the Bryant defensive line here, so that we can find find a little tiny hole and just break on that and get some points on the board. And our offense have, hasn't had any trouble moving against this Bryant Hornet defense. It's just one play ruins the whole drive. We can't have fumble snaps. We can't get sacked for 25 yards. Just plays like that just ruin everything. 307 here, first and 10 on the 18 yard line. G calls for the snap. He'll hand the ball off before he's brought down after gaining maybe three on the play. Good run by Mason Bell as he found the hole. It just got closed up a little too quick for him. First quarter's winding down now, just 2.48 left. Second and 10 on the 20, excuse me, second and eight on the 21 coming up for the Panthers. And number 20, Jacob Parks did sub in for number 24, Mason Bell. 
G sends a man in motion here. Calls for a snap. Rolls. Looking. Has a man open. He finds Jay. Jay's going to catch it. He's at the 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, he 20, 15, 10, 5. All Touchdown, Panthers. That was something that I talked about. They need to find that little tiny mistake or hole in the, Pan or the Hornet defense, and they'll get points on the board. Well, look at that. The defensive back played off just like Tyler Parks did in the last defensive possession, and it gave and it ended up in six points for the Panthers. And what a great route run by Braden Jay as he – he was put into motion, came around, went toward the Panthers' sideline, then cut up field, got behind the Bryant Hornets' secondary, and just walked right into the end zone. And just like that, the Panthers are on the board. Well, we're, the Panthers are no stranger on the offensive side of the ball to once a play develops and the receivers are able, able to find a little open open fieldage, they're able to cut up there like Jay did on the last play, and usually it turns into six points. Flashback to two weeks ago against Conway, Connor, Oregon. They were maybe inside, what, the 20, 15-yard line. Connor kind of ran a little, I don't know exactly what route he ran. Yeah, post -route. But he was able to keep on run, keep on with the play and able to get o wide open for six. And that was just a great play by Jay. He got behind the defenders. And number 27 for Bryant didn't even know where he was until the ball was over his head. And your Panthers are now only down by seven with the scores. Cabot seven, Bryant 14 with... 2.23 left in the first quarter. I do believe that defensive back that you were talking about, his name is Kyle Knox for the Hornets. Well, he got burned. That's all <laughs> I got to say, Kyle, he got burned. <laughs> yeah, you better knock on wood now, my friend, before they take this kickoff back for six. Well, we are kicking into the wind, so I'm wondering, we did see an onside kick last week that worked really well, and we almost got a second one, so I wouldn't be any surprise to see Jack Tebbett come up do a little fancy kick with, as he's kicking into the wind. So if we go wait, awaiting the kick here from Jack. And here comes the kick. Oh, that's pooch kick really in a bounce. Returnable. He's not going to go anywhere. He's just wrapped up and dropped at about the 25-yard line. I mean, you can't ask for a better kick kicking into the wind. I mean, they may start on around the 25-yard line, but it bounced right in front of them and gave our time for the Panthers to get over them and wrap them up. Well, this is now the first offensive drive here for the Hornets that they haven't started in Pan deep in Panther territory here. That is true. So, Panther defense, we've given up two big plays, but besides that, we have been playing really well. So, here we go first down here for the Panthers. Led better. Shotgun formation calls for the snap. He'll hand it off. Round to the outside. Breaks in the middle. He has open field before he's taken down just right outside the 50-yard line. There's another big play for the Hornets that we were talking about, Cooper. And that was number 21, Xavier Foote. Once again, he just ran it up the middle, found the hole, and got into the Panthers' last line of defense. But luckily, we were able to bring him down before he scored. Just a little over two minutes now left in the first quarter. Led better calls for the snap. Hands it off the foot once again. He's around to the inside. He breaks away from one. He has one man to beat. He hurdles him before he's wrapped up and dropped at, a, at the 30-yard line. That was number 44, Justin Carnes with the tackle as he – good tackle there by Carnes. But our defensive line is just getting – manhandled by the Bryant Hornets offensive line so far. As number 92, Jose Hernandez was running in to check in after that last play. His foot's around to the outside. He steps in a hole as the fans are looking for a hold call there against the Hornets. And the Hornets offensive line is just having their way with the Panthers defensive line as they're getting pushed back to almost three yards every play, giving big holes for the Bryant Hornets. So it's a first down here for the Hornets once again on the 20 yard line of Cabot, 134 left. Leveter hands it off once again. Around the outside, Cabot just couldn't make a tackle there and a There's flag a does flag. come out late. That would either be a block in the back or a hold because the back judge did call it. So that run will be coming back for the Hornets. And the Panthers almost had them in the backfield. We just couldn't wrap them up. And it will be holding against the Hornets, so it will be first and 20 coming up. Ball is cer certainly going to maybe be not necessarily a drive killer, but certainly a pain in the drive there for the Hornets if That's Cabot is able to capitalize on this penalty. And Brian almost were, was in good field position, but the held brought the drive back. 
Ledbetter shotgun formation here for out rod. Well, flag Probably comes a out. False start, and it's a false start against the Hornets, and they're just moving farther and farther back as the Panther fans are cheering for that call. Hey, I mean, anything that goes good for the Panthers, you, you guarantee the Panther faithful, no matter where they are, if they're here or if they're at home, they're cheering for that call for the, from the referee. For sure, and it'll be first and long for Bryant. Just right now, don't give up a big play. They've made big mistakes that has been ruining their drive so far. So while your enemy's down, keep them down and don't let them get any sparks of life. So here we go, first and 20 from the 30 yard line of Cabot, under a minute now in the first quarter. Ledbetter calls for the snap, drops back, looks, flag comes out early before the snap. They're going to blow it dead. Another, It'll false, be another start. false start. And I look like it was on number 80, look like 81. 81. And Robert Hendricks. So to keep on like this, they're going to be right back in their own territory here. First and about a mile here. Don't let up the big play. Just please. Don't. Don't let a two-yard route turn into a 35-yard touchdown. Ledbetter calls for the snap. He'll hand it off around to the outside. He'll be wrapped up, breaks away, but he'll be dropped here way be behind the first down marker here. So second down coming up for the Hornets. After all that, it's only second down. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, honestly, I thought it was third down like two plays ago. Yeah, I mean, before when they the called the when they called that first flag. Sorry for talking over you, but when they th threw that first flag, I could have sworn it was a third down. Yeah, just along, and you still have number three in the backfield for the Hornets. Takes the handoff, Lebe throws it over the middle. That's going to be almost Ooh. intercepted there. And the Bryant Hornets did have a wide open man. That was number four, River Gregory who I saw, I thought he was about to take it into the end zone, but luckily the Panthers almost picked that off, so it'll be third and long here for the Hornets. Five seconds left here in the first half, or excuse me, first quarter of play. Game ain't going by that fast. A lot of scoring in this first quarter of play. Five seconds left, and Bryant will. Anything can happen in five seconds. Just don't, don't let a man behind you. Be sure to back off and watch your man. Third and 17 from the 27. Ledbetter, low man in the backfield here. Has five out wide, five wide. Drops back, looks, Ledbetter steps up, has nowhere to throw it. He throws it over the middle. That's going to be caught, but he's down. So that looks like that's going to be enough for a first and goal there. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. And just like that, we had him pinned deep. And we let up a big play happen, and Bryant will be in great field position starting the second quarter. And we'll be going to break here as the second quarter is getting ready to go underway. Your Panthers are down 14-7. to Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here at the second quarter of the Bryant versus Cabot game here. Your Cabot Panthers are down 14 to seven. If you're just tuning in, missing the uh, excellent, exciting first quarter, I'm Tristan Harlan here with my broadcast partner, Cooper Melder. And Bryant just, we had Bryant pinned deep with a third and 17, and now they're on their three yard line. It'll be handoff up the middle, and he will dive into the end zone. They will call it a touchdown for the Hornets. So now the Panthers go down 20 to seven. 
the Panthers, the Panthers offense it has been able to drive on this Hornet defense. Do not get me wrong. It's the defensive effort. It comes back to the defensive backs, like the safeties and corners, Tyler Parks in particular, where it breaks down third down, second down, second, third down late in the drive, which has ended up giving the Bryant Hornets scores here early in the game. And it'll bounce off the upright into it, the goal. So it'll be 21-7 Bryant. And like you were saying, the Panthers offense haven't had any trouble. They've just had mental mistakes at the wrong time, like a fumbled snap, sack for huge loss. And then with the defense, we get them on third and down, and then we just let our let up on our man, and they end up coming in, making the play, giving Brian even more life as we were about to stop him as it was a third and 17 there. Well, here comes the ret return unit here for the Panthers. Jay going back there. We've seen him return a couple this year, looking to return another one here in tonight's game. And I'll be looking forward to return here for the Panthers as Bryant will be kicking into the wind now. So it's 11.55 here left in the second quarter of play. It's time for the relaxed main kickoff with Brock Falk. Yeah, Braden J, number five, back there with number 24, Mason Bell, both speed demons. So whoever you kick it to, just know they can break away for a touchdown. Well, here we're in the kick here from Bryant. It's a short kick right in the hands of Jay. Jay fields it around the 10-yard line, has a couple good blocks, comes back, reverses side. He's free still, and he's going to be brought down at about the 32, 33-yard line. And great return there by Jay as he had trouble picking up the ball at first, but then – Juked out a couple guys and made something with the blocks he had and gave the Panthers off its great field position. Well, first and 10 here for the 32. The Panthers are charting out, about to be charting out on the field here. Like, I, like we was talking about earlier, the Panthers offense has had no trouble moving the ball up and down the field so far here in tonight's game. It's just been those mental mistakes and those failure, failure to convert late in the drive. And the Panthers offense should be confident because they've, been able to drive straight down the field and score against them, so they know they can score against this team. This Hornets defense is no better than any defense we've seen this year. G calls for the snap, runs it option, shovels it off. Oh, good hit there by number the Hornets. That's number two, Miles Aldridge on the tackle there. Mason Bell would get about two on that carry. Second down here for the Panthers coming up after the gain of maybe one on the play. Yeah, two far wide receivers with Birdsong and Jay and then Carmack, solo receiver on the close side of the field. G. Calls the snap, drops back. He's going to look. He's going to throw it quick to Carmack. Carmack going to try to break away from one. He does. Tries to break away from another one. He does before he's tackled by a third man at exactly the 40-yard line. That will be close to a first down. I think he'll be a yard short. So it will be a third and one here. You expect to see a run up the gut here from the I formation here. Do you just want to see Tyler G keep it himself? Um, they'll probably go. The Panthers haven't gone under center a lot these past couple weeks. So if anything, we'll run straight up the gut with Mason Bell as we won't have a QB sneak coming up. Or we could do a play action. G sends a man in motion here, calls for the snap. He's going to hand the ball off. Looks like he enough. has enough for the first down there. Mason Bell will just run straight up the middle and get the first down for the Panthers. 10-22 left to go here in the first half of play. First down for your Panthers at about the 43-yard line. The Panthers are driving up the field once again. We just can't fumble, throw an interception, or anything that will ruin the drive. G shock information has three receivers outright. Calls for the snap. He's going to hand the ball off around to the left-hand side. He has a couple blocks before he trucks his way now into Bryant territory. That was number 20, Jacob Parks, on the carry as he hit the hole, hit a man, and went down for a good eight-yard game. Tough run there by Jacob Parks. 9.50 left to go here in the second quarter of play. It'll be a second down here on the about the 49-yard line here, second and two here for the Panthers. So the Panthers are in Bryant territory now. 
Looking like they changed the play at the line here. G sends a man in motion. Call for the snap. He'll hand it off once again before he's swallowed up in the before the play could go anywhere there by the Bryant defensive line. And Jacob Parks was just stopped at the line, but one thing I did notice, we, he stopped at the line. I know he's trying to wait for a hole to open up, but sometimes you just have to run and just keep running to get yards. You can't stop at the line and try to juke something out when there's nothing there. You just gotta run straight up the middle and hope for the best. All about keeping your feet moving. That's football 101. That's the stuff we were taught in the Pop Warner League. Regardless, it's starting four here on the 49 yard line for Cabot. G shotgun formation once again has three out right still. G calls for the snap. He'll hand it off once again around to the outside. Oh, and that. They won't call it as. That was. Uh, I thought I saw a face mask. Yeah. There. I mean, he grabbed the helmet, just may have not grabbed the face mask, but I don't know. And. If you're the Panthers, do you go for it here, or do you just punt it away and force Brian into bad field position as they have the wind behind them? I think they're going to go for it here only because it's fourth and short. Sure, they are in their own territory still after the after the run, but, I mean, look at it this way, high risk, high reward. And we've been able to convert these plays, so we don't have a problem with it. And we'll probably see a Tyler G pass to either Jay or Carmack. G's going to call for the snap. He's going to drop back. Looks, has birds on. No, he's going to hit number 24, but he'll be short of the first down marker. We try to set up a little halfback screen there. Just didn't have enough there for the Panthers, and the defense will come back out onto the field, and the Panthers are down 21-7 to with 7.56 left in tonight's game. Correct me if I'm wrong, Cooper, but every possession so far that the Hornets have had, they have scored. They have. So right now what the Panthers defense needs to do, and you can chime in, correct me if I'm wrong, if you don't like the take, but they just need to stop the score and they need to get a th quick three and out here and to get the ball back. We just need to stop them. It doesn't have to be a three and out. We just need to get the ball back to our offense without letting Bryant score because we've came so close multiple times and just got beat on the last play. Well, better shotgun. Going to call for the snap. He hands the ball off. A flag comes out in the area holding. But he has a wide open field of grain there. The flag, this all could be coming back here as we await the call from the ref. Bryant ran a little counter play there for the Panthers. There is a flag. It'll be holding, so the run will go back. And Bryant, their last, last drive, and now starting this drive, penalties have been really knocking them back, killing the drive for them. Well, so far for the Panthers, it's been the middle mistakes, but for Bryant, it's been the penalties. Yeah. And just when you get them back this far, you just need to keep them back. Don't let up a 15-yard play here and give Bryant a good second down play. It'll be the counter again, and he'll have blocks for days. As he is now in Cabot territory, Cooper, it's like your headset's connected to the helmet, and they're doing exactly the opposite of what you're telling them to do. I know. It's... They saw the counter play worked really well on the hold, so they went right back to it and got just as many yards coming up with a second and five here. Second down here for the Hornets. Ledbetter's gonna hand it off once Same again on the counter. Again. He's gonna be around to the outside. He's gonna hurdle before he's pushed out of bounds. I do believe he did have enough for the first down there. And he will get plenty enough for the first down for the Hornets as the Panthers can't seem to stop the run right now. So Bryant's making a drive out of this, driving down on the Panthers defense here. Do you think they'll run another counter? <laughs> hey, man, it's counter city. They're, going, they're running the counter to the left, to the right, up the middle. Hey, they might as well just run another counter for the next whole the rest of the game. It will be a run up the middle, and he'll be stopped, pushed the man off, and tripped up from the back. That's number 19, Payson Woods, coming from the opposite side of the field, tripping the guy up as we thought we had him in the backfield. But a great stiff arm got him good yards. I do believe it'll, like, like we heard, a second down here for the Hornets here. Second and three on the 27, 644 left to go here in the first half of play. Ledbetter, shotgun formation, still waiting for the snap from Ledbetter. He calls for it, fakes the handoff, has a man open. That's gonna be caught. 
number 22, Houston Wiley, just try to – I thought he was going to die for the interception there, but he just dove into the tackle to wrap him up before that play turned into anything bigger. A good play by Houston as that was number 13, Dazier Hell for the catch. H-A-L-E. Harlan. <laughs> so it'll be first down here for the Hornets. Ledbetter's going to hand the ball off once again around the middle. He's still up, and he's just – might as well just tiptoe to the end zone. I mean, the run game, the Panthers can't stop it. They All they have to do is go to the outside, and they'll get about almost a first down every play. And looks like I wouldn't be surprised if Bryant goes back with another run as the Panthers have no question to stop it. Ledbetter hands the ball off once again. And he's just going to tiptoe to the end zone. The Bryant threw the ball one time that drive, and they did the same play three times in a row. You hate to see you hate to see your defense. I mean, you hate to see your defense put on a great showing against Conway two weeks ago. They stand stand the test of time for the comeback, and now be down 27, about to be 28 to seven with 6:15 against the two-time back-to-back -back state champions. The kick is up and good, so it'll be 28 to seven, 6.15 left in the second quarter. And the Panther defense just, they don't have a question, or they don't have any answers to stop the run game, Harlan. It's just, the Bryant, they could run the ball every play for the rest of the game probably and get five yards every play. Well, that's just something that coming into the second half that the coaches are just going to have to tell the defensive line, especially in the middle in the second row of uh, defenders. I mean, you got to stop it. If you don't stop it, they'll kill you all game with it. I mean, and I'm pretty sure that's why Bryant's undefeated right now because they have big enough guys to where they can run down your throat 99.9% .9 of the time and just score, score, score on, on cue whenever they want. I mean, the Panthers have been – I mean, Brian, it seemed like they can do everything against us right now. They can just throw the ball to the wide open people. They can get open when there's nothing, and they can just run all over our defense. I mean, they ran the, they ran one play three times in a row, and the Panthers didn't have a question for it. Indeed. That kick is going to roll. Yeah, pick it up, pick it up. And the ball was about to roll out of bounds, but Bryant. Hornets were ball trying to swarm to the ball. The so it'll be a first down on the 18 yard line of Cabot. As Coach Ruiz talking to his offense one last It'll time be before the they take the field for their next possession here. So your score is 28 7 with 6.15 left to go here in the first half. And Coach Reed is. He's thinking the ball rolled out of bounds. Now one rule is if you stand out of bounds and pick up the ball, that will be a kick out of bounds. Well, that's probably what the returner was trying to do on the play is don't believe the refs are going to give it to Cabot here. Uh, they won't. Yeah, we're in Bryant. <laughs> 6.15 15 left here, first half. G shotgun formation still on the 18 yard line. G calls for the snap, drops back, looks, throws it quick to Connor Organ. He's going to catch. No, oh, he's going to. incomplete. As Connor had the pass right towards him and just couldn't bring it in as that was a bullet straight to him. Well, hit him in the hands, but he just couldn't hang on there. Maybe the cold weather kind of got to him and got to the ball where it stung a little extra, and it usually does when you try to catch it barehanded. But one thing is, if the ball touches your hand, you should be able to catch it. Couldn't come up there. On that play, so it'll be second and 10 for the Panthers. 6 10 left in tonight, second quarter. G calls for the snap, draws back, looks, has a man. That's going to be overthrown, incomplete. As he is looking for a wide open number 23, Trey Birdsong. So it'll be third and 10 with 6 05 left in the second quarter. It's going to be third down for the Panthers. Third down coming up for the Panthers here. It's Gene coming, he needs something. Not necessarily big, but they need something to put a statement on the board saying, hey, we're still in this. And you really need a score right now because if you get down by 28, just like that, it's tough to come back from. I mean, we came back from 21 last week, came up short, but Bryant's just a way better team than Conway. So here comes the third down, G. 
sends Jay in motion here. G's gonna roll. He's gonna look. He's gonna roll back. He has Jay wide open here. Jay's gonna try to put him in a juke move. Jay still has it. He's around to the outside, but he's pushed out of bounds way beyond the first down marker. So that's another first down for your Cabot Panthers. Well, that was a great play call there by Coach Reed as they sent Jay into the motion. Jay kind of just stood out there all alone. G rolled out, didn't see anyone, rolled back to Jay, hit Jay, and Jay just made a guy miss and got a good first down for the Panthers. So first down here on the 36 yard line of Cabot. Cabot with the ball now with 553 left in the first half. Still down by 21 is Cabot. Five to score once again. 518 left here in the first half of play, third and 10 on the 36. The offense is still on the field here for the Panthers. G shotgun formation. G sends a man in motion here. Gonna snap, looks, throws it quick. And that's just going to be right in the hands of number 23, Trey Birdsaw, but he couldn't hold on. Fourth down coming up for the Panthers. Looks like the Panthers will be punting away to Bryant. G got the snap, and it seemed like by the time he got the snap, he had three defenders in his face, so he had to get that off straight to Trey Birdsaw, but they just couldn't connect there. The Panthers will have to punt. So here comes another punt from the Cabot Panthers. I think this is about the most punts they've had in the game this year. I think so. Punt, high, deep, returnable about the 20 yard line, but Cabot's just gonna swarm him. He'll get brought down at the 20 yard line. Great punt there by number 36, Dylan Sampson. Help with the win there, and that was just a good punt. And so, Panther defense coming back out here. They have yet to stop Bryant. So here comes the Hornets offense now. They've, like I said earlier, scored on every offensive possession they've had. With 449 left in the first half of play, Bryant does take over on the 21 yard line of their own. You need a stop if you're the defense. You need to show some type of life that you could show that you're able to stop them. There's a run there. Misdirection as he just really doesn't go anywhere as he stopped. Panthers, we had a host of Panthers there finally being able to stop the run there, stopped him at the line. So second down here coming up for the Hornets. The second and 10 for the Panthers. A lot better shotgun formation, has three. Three, four receivers out. Hands the ball off once again. He's run to the outside, has open field. He was right down there after number 18 there for the Panthers made a jumping tackle. That's Jared Whitman on the tackle. And just like that, the Bryant Hornets are doing their fast paced offense, being able to go straight down the Panthers defense. So first down here on the 35 yard line of Bryant. Bryant led better under, or excuse me, shotgun formation that he hands it off once again and he get, goes somewhere before he's tackled there by. That was number 18, Jared with and once again, it looks like it'll be a seven, eight yard run there for the Hornets. 3.50 left to go here in the first half. Cabot's defense needs something big. Ledbetter calls for the snap, hands it off once again around to the outside. He has open field steel. He's around the 40, has one man to beat. He just shoves him down there. First down for the Hornets. And that was number 16, Micah Silver, bringing him down right before he could score. And I know you gotta watch out for the pass, but the Panthers defense need to send blitzes because they're not passing. Why pass when you can just run all over us? You gotta send some blitzes here and there. I'm sure the Hornets are going to keep running until Cabot learns how to stop it tonight. Oh, for sure. It'll be a high snap. Flag comes out there. And it'll just be stopped in the backfield as they try to go with the run once again. Here's a flag. We're going to see what the referee signal is. Probably a holding. Probably. And it'll be holding against Bryant. It's going to be a flag on the play. It's going to be holding against the So it'll be second and long. Excuse me, first and long coming up for Bryant. The ball's going to be moved back to the 41-yard Now, you got him back once again. 
Now don't let them get all those yards back by letting an easy run to the outside for a touchdown or a first down happen. 3.25 left to go here in the first half. Ledbetter, shotgun formation still. Calls for snap, he's gonna fake the handoff, drops back, looks, throws it over the middle, but it's gonna be batted down there before it could get anywhere. The coaches are saying it's a fumble, so Cabot's gonna get on it. They're, I think they're gonna give Cabot the ball. I don't know, but I think it was a forward pass, and that was number 96, Justin Sobzak, coming in and delivering the big hit on Ledbetter. I don't know there, Coop. I do believe that could have been a fumble. I mean, because it didn't look like he was making forward progress with the ball. It looks like he just had it up there, and we swiped it away. Either way, great play by the defensive line there, coming in, getting pressure on the quarterback, and forcing a hit and almost a fumble. We're going to second down here for the Hornets. Love better. Low man in the backfield here. Drops back. Looks. Has all time in the pocket. He steps up. And he's going to be almost sacked before he's, it passes caught. And Ledbetter, he had room to run 20 yards if he wanted to. He just had all the time in the world there, and it'll be a third and eight coming up for the Hornets. As many fans were looking for a hold call there, but. I mean, it seems like every play they're yelling for a hold call. <laughs> right. Ledbetter shotgun formation, low man in the backfield here. Draw, calls for the snap, it keeps it himself, has nowhere to go as he's just breaks one, almost breaks another before he's dropped fourth down. The first fourth down coming up for the Bryant Hornets. Oh my goodness. And that was number 18, Jared Whitman getting to Ledbetter, forcing him down. So it'll be fourth and eight for the Hornets, and it looks like they will be, I think they will be going for it. So the Panther defense, you have them fourth and eight. Just hold on one last time and get your offense the ball back with 210. Well, 205 coming up left in the tonight's first half of play. Ledbetter still the low man in the backfield here. As he calls for the snap. He drops back, looks, steps That's up in the time. pocket, throws it deep to the end zone, has wide a man wide open. open. Just like that. And Bryant scores once again. Five drives, five scoring plays. And the defensive line could not get to him. He had all the time in the world to just sit back, relax, watch a movie, and then throw a touchdown pass. I mean, and it just looked like the secondary just led him right behind him because they were guarding their man, and then he got behind him. It'll be 35 to seven, 153 left in the second quarter. Well, there's no doubt of tonight's game that the weak point for the Panthers, is their defense. We talked about that early on in the game with missing two key guys, Rawls and Meek. However, I mean, this is pitiful. We didn't expect this coming into the game. No, I mean, we haven't had any problems on defense this year. I get Bryant's a good team, but the fact they can run maybe the same play four plays in a row and still not stop it just shows something. And Ledbetter's just sitting in the backfield for about 10 seconds if he wanted to. I mean, we saw on the third down play, he just said he had 20 yards to run up Phil if he wanted to. It was just insane. So here comes the kicking unit now for the uh, Hornets. And don't forget, they get the ball back at the start of the second half. The Panthers are going to have to score. Right now it's a 28-point game. If you can get it to 21 before halftime, it'll help big time because Bryant does get the ball to start the second half. The last thing you want to do is not score and then Bryant come back out to start the second quarter, third quarter, and oh, and get up 42 to seven as they just almost lost it there and the Panthers offense will be coming back out onto the field. So far the Panther offense was able to get one score on the board to Braden Jay, but as of right now. I mean, they've been driving, it's just, we try to do plays and then we try to do run plays on third down that don't work and then we have to go for it on fourth and we just don't get blocks. So here comes Tyler Jean Company once again on the field. First and 10 from the 23 yard line, a minute 50 left in the first half. Cavett still in shotgun formation. G is going to call for it. And he fumbles the snap. And he, can't, he just can't <laughs> have that. I mean, Bryant's a good team. And the 
and there's I believe there's a timeout there on the play after the all, all, uh, excuse me <laughs> after the almost lost snap there'll be timeout Brian and I think Bryant was trying to say they had the ball but B Bryant's they're gonna try to score Bryant's just gonna try to score one more time they're gonna try to get a quick three and out get the ball back go downfield and score right before halftime that's what they're doing right now well, right now, Bryant has all the momentum in the world that they could possibly want. They have all the momentum coming from their undefeated season. They have all the momentum so far in the game being up 35-7. to seven. So, right now, this is Bryant's ball game. Yeah, I, mean, we, we, I mean, we knew this coming in. They're a good but, team. But, but we didn't expect it to be like this, especially coming in just a round to the first half. Yeah, I mean, you're down by 28 with 137 left in the second quarter. And... It just seems like if anything bad's going to happen, it's been happening to Cavett on the offense and defense. When the referee is to let him resume play there, I do believe the ref. They're talking to each other about something. I don't know. Bryant's coach talking to him. And we just wait to resume action. I do you believe now we will be able to resume action as the referees are running back into their spots? And the time got... More time has been put up onto the clock as it's now 145. As G keeps himself as he doesn't really go anywhere on the play. And they try to run a little option play there and got maybe two yards there and Bryant will use another timeout as they're trying to get the ball back with 139 left in the second quarter. Well, so far, I mean, we're going to go to break on that one. We'll be right back. 139 in the second half, 35-7 is your score. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are back after the timeout. Third and 14 on the 19. 139 left in the first half of play. Tyler G in the shotgun formation. Sends a man in motion. Calls for the snap. He drops back. Looks. Has a man. That's going to be caught. Tries to put a juke move on him. He's still up. Makes another man miss. Kyle Carmack still on his feet. He reverses. He has field. blocks. He has blocks. And a flag oh my will come gosh. out. Carmack will be down around the 50 yard line. And another flag comes out at the end of the play. Great play that was by Kyler Carmack, but it could be all coming back. Is there, there's two flags. There's one during, mid, during the middle of the play and one at the end. So I'm waiting to see what the call is. They could cancel out. We could keep the play. If it cancels out, we'll just replay that third down. So now if they're both against Bryant, then yay. <laughs> but, yay. <laughs> but right now it's looking like it'll be cancellation of penalties because there's probably a block in the back or a hold and then a, maybe a late hit out of bounds against Bryant. Or they could be both against Cavett. Who knows? Nope. I th do believe they're both. They're going to offset. They're going to replay the down. Uh -oh. It's going to replay third down. It's going to be a block in the back against Cavett and a face mask against the horn. It's going to be offsetting and so we had, had a block in the back on Cavett and then a face mask at the end of the play against Ryan. So we'll redo third down for the Panthers. Cooper, let me ask you real quick. Did you see a block in the back on the play? Honestly, I didn't, but who knows. I, I didn't see one. There possibly could be with Carmack reversing field, but we'll be replaying third down as that was a great run by Carmack. And it looks like Coach Reed will call a timeout here for the Panthers to get something. And we need this first down because we can't give Bryant the ball back. No, that, that's not even an option right now. Like, if you give Bryant the ball back, if we give Bryant the ball back right now, they have a chance to go up by more, 
with 125 left. We need to have another big play right here. And honestly, if you ask me, we need a score. We need a score, <laughs> yeah. I and mean, I'm not trying to rush or jinx anything, but we need a score. We, we need bad. a score. We need a score bad going down into half at 21. But if we do throw it here and it's incomplete, Bryant keeps their timeout, and they do get the ball back. So they'll be driving downfield with little time and a timeout, which they haven't had a problem all night driving down the field on us. So we need to keep this drive alive and keep wasting clock. So this is a extended timeout here for both sides. Bryant's already on the field, they're ready. And here comes Cabot now back onto the field. And Cabot's just looking to get yards here, if anything. We need a first down, but it'll be twins right, twins left, and G and Bell in the backfield. G calls for the snap, he's gonna drop back, look. Throws it deep, has a man. That's going to be caught by Carla Carmack. What a great first down that was by the Panthers. And Carmack came up there on a street, jumped up, grabbed it, pulled it down. And so it'll be first and 10 on the 40-yard line for the Panthers. Man, what a great athlete Kyler Carmack is. He's able to get up there and get those high balls that are thrown high, high above to uh, the defense. But here we go, first down. G sends a man in motion here. He's going to hand the ball off. He's going to step up, has room, get – Oh, he's just taken up by the legs. I do believe that was number 23, number Trey Birdsong on the carry. And looks like Cabot tried to run the little jet sweep, but they had a couple blocks, but they didn't really have much. I do believe Cabot's trying to run some form of hurry up here with 49 seconds left in the first half. G calls for the snap, drops back, looks, has a man blitzing, has a man. That's just going to be overthrown incomplete there. Intended for number 15 on the play. Chandler Carter. So after the incompletion, I do believe that the clock will stop here on third down. So they will have, I think, if they don't get it here, they'll have at least one chance on this play to get, either get a first down and a timeout or, they'll, I mean, heck, if they get a big play, they'll be able to put points on the board. Yeah, right here, if the Panthers don't get it and they maybe catch it short of the first down and stay in bounds. Bryant will use their last time out to try to get the ball back, but if it's fourth and short, we might even well go for it. G sends J in motion. G drops back, looks, has a man, throws it deep. That's going to be caught. What a great catch that was. He's still up. He jukes around one, jukes around two before Trey Birdsong is brought down just past the 40-yard 40, 40 line. I do believe he's around the 45. So that will be first down for the Panthers as a timeout is called their great time strategist by there by, I do believe, Coach Reed. And that was a great route by Trey Birdsong. Trey Birdsong went on a streak, saw G throwing the ball. Last second, did a little shove off on his defender, came back, caught the ball, ran around, and got yards now. Since we're on a drive, I wouldn't really want you running around. Just get down, stop the clock, call a timeout, get your play. But either way, great play by Birdsong. Well, 33 seconds left, first and 10 on 37. <laughs> Excuse me if you heard that. Uh, anyways, the Panthers are on a great drive right now. And if they can somehow get something big like that once again, maybe not eat, not put the po put points board – Wow, English. <laughs> Put points on the board right now, but kind of just inch it a little bit closer, maybe around the 20 to 15-yard line, and then get a, maybe a tight end screen to Connor Oregon like we did two weeks ago against Conway or something along those lines. Then I think Pan the Panthers will be in great shape going into halftime on the so offensive side of the ball. The well, Bryant doesn't have any question for a passing game right now. I mean, we haven't been able to run the ball, but right now we, have, we don't have any problem throwing the ball. G drops back, looks, throws it to the flat, to his running back. Jukes away from get one. Out of bounds, get out of bounds. All right, good he's job. Get out of bounds. <laughs> 25 <laughs> seconds left, man. Cooper, you're acting like you're on the uh, old video game console there playing NCAA or something, man. Well, I mean, <laughs> get out of bounds, get out of bounds. We have one timeout. We need the clock to stop, so don't try to make something. Get the yards that you can, then get out of bounds so you can save the timeout and stop the clock. But great play by number 20, Jacob Parks. Well, both teams now have one timeout with 25 seconds left. It'll be second and two on the 19-yard line. G calls for the snap, drops back, looks, throws it quick here to J. He just, just under throws him by a hair of an inch of a 
just a little centimeter there. The Hornets did send a blitz there, so G from his blind side had to get it off quick. We couldn't afford a big sack there. Well, we've seen G do that against other opponents, and guys like Kyler Carmack have been able to turn around, give him a big, get the defender a big old bear Jonesboro, hug to keep warm and catch in the corner of the end zone. So it'll be third and two here. Now, do you go just for the first down to make sure you get the first down, keep your drive alive, because clock does stop? No, we're throwing it. That's going to be a great catch. And that'll It'll be a first down. And so the clock will stop for a second. You need to get up to the line, spike it, because you have 13 seconds left in tonight's second quarter. He make sure you do spike it and not have any issues Oh, he there. fumbled it. Oh, my gosh. You got to call a timeout. You have to. Call a timeout. You have and the call a timeout. You have one and the clock will run out. The refs weren't even looking at Coach Reed. He tried to call a timeout. And I think and Bryant's just gonna run off to the sideline to their locker room as coach is saying put one second left as Coach Reed did call a timeout. So we'll have one last play and hey that's excessive men on the field. That's a penalty. <laughs> we need those yards. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, G fumbled the snap there. Oh, that reminds me of the Razorback <laughs> game against Auburn. We're not, we're not gonna talk about that. This is against a Cabot Auburn, game. This is not an Arkansas at, game. I know, but the same thing happened against Auburn and they let away with it. So maybe we can get some of the Auburn rest over here to get, let it get away with us. <laughs> Cooper, you do not work for CBS or ESPN. You work <laughs> for CHTV, my friend. This is Cabot, not Arkansas. I know. We are in Arkansas, but. <laughs> not well, the Razorbacks. Yeah. Looks like they'll put maybe one or two seconds left on the clock, and you can't have that. You had 13 seconds left, and then fumble the snap to spike it, and then. Man, Bryant, <laughs> they try to hot tail it off the field. Well, they're saying it's halftime. Let's go. Let's not give up any points, and they try to get off there, as you see most teams do that. But Coach Reed was yelling timeout a little late, but we finally got it after two years. But. <laughs> oh we'll God! Come back with one last play before halftime, and I wouldn't be surprised if Bryant sends a blitz here. Wouldn't surprise me neither, Cooper. It looks like that's what they're doing. Yeah, they they're if gonna not. send a full house at him, trying to force something, which is a smart play. Well, G's the low man in the backfield here. Looks like we're going for a hail mary type play. G calls for the snap. Everybody's running straight at G. G rolls out of the pocket, looks. Throws it, has a man in the end zone. Oh, just incomplete. And G almost That's ran out of bounds before it was complete. So it'll be halftime. And they're still hightailing it out off the field, so they can't call anything last second. That's the end of the first half. We'll be right back at the start of the second half. Your score is 35-7, Bryant.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second half of action here in the game between the Bryant Hornets. I'm Tristan Harlan here with Cooper Melder. Cooper, what an exciting first half we had. Well, it's been one-sided. We've had a, our offense necessarily. They haven't been doing horrible. Like, we've seen them drive downfield. We almost got a quick score before half, just had miscommunication there, a bad snap that was trying to spike it by G. And right now, to start the second half, if we want any way to get back into this game, we need to get a stop on defense and then go downfield and score. Because right now we're down by 28. Bryant gets the ball, and they've scored on every drive so far. Well, in case you missed the entire first half of play, Bryant, as you can see on the scoreboard, has almost just about ran away this game, and they kicked to start the game, so they're not going to get the ball to start the second half. As here comes the kick. It's a high kick. Win still... Not as strong, but it's still present. And it'll just roll out to the back of the end zone, so Bryant will get it, the ball at the 25-yard line. So here comes the Bryant Hornets offense. So right now, we just need to stop the run, and on passing plays, we can't let our guy get behind us. Well, I mean, during halftime, I heard from some couple of players that the coaches were really getting into him about keeping, staying with your man, making your tackles. Don't try to do anything fancy. So we're going to see how the second half goes for this Cabot Panther defense. And that was a great tackle there by number 44, Justin Carnes. As we'll just go straight, as Bryant will just go straight back to the run game. So it'll be a second and six here for the Hornets. You have in the backfield, secondary, you have number 22, Houston Wiley. Number two, Tyler Parks are your two corners. Your two safeties are number 44, Justin Carnes, along with number 16, Micah Silver. And the Panthers defense are out there. Bryant will hand the ball off, and he'll be stopped in the backfield by a host of Panthers. And the Panthers defensive line were all over that run there. And so we'll bring up third and six for Bryant as the Panthers are looking forward to their first stop. Well, like I said, coming in, excuse the technical difficulties, ladies and gentlemen. We're having a little bit of cable, cabling issues here with the camera. But anyway, uh, the Panthers have really been playing hard on this drive, trying to get their first stop of the game on the on third down. So here we go. We're trying to see, trying to see how it goes here. Ledbetter calls for the snap, rolls, looks, has a man pressuring him. He runs. That's going to be, oh, dude, come on. You got to intercept that. That was a great play by number 18, Jared Whitman. And just like that, the pan yes, you want the interception, but you finally get your first stop of the game. And, and so, the punting unit is coming out on the field, so we will get our first stop. So you're the Panthers' defense. Don't let up a fake punt. Right. Because <laughs> Bryant – they don't have anything to lose, so if they fake punt right here, they don't get it. it really doesn't hurt them as they're only they're up by 28. Well, hopefully they'll have a bad snap here and they'll go, go to the, the one, and then we'll, we'll just fall on it and get a touchdown. Number five for the Bryant Hornets. He looks kind of short, so maybe a high snap. I mean, from up here he looks shorter than normal, so maybe a high snap will get us a good field position. So. There was a timeout on the field, but we're going to stay with you, ladies and gentlemen, and kind of give you a recap. Well, excuse me, Cooper's going to give you a recap of what's going on. Cooper, take it away, man. Well, if you missed the first half, all Bryant. Cabot started the off with the ball, and we were driving downfield perfectly, and then we had a bad snap by G, who just got forced to – we were on Bryant's 40-yard line, and then we got a bad snap, got to our 50, and then we – Fumbled the snap on the punt, and it's been all Brian as we put up one scoring drive so far. We're waiting this punt here from Bryant. Snap not high enough. Oh, Ooh, almost, almost blocked. blocked. I think it was. I think it was tipped a bit, and we'll get good field position. And here we go, Panther offense. It's time to see the true Panthers that we know and love. Well, I hope wherever you are, if you're here, watching the game, listening to us on your phone, or if you're at home in Cabot or California, wherever you may be, 
I just hope you're still cheering hard for your Panthers as there's still a lot of time left in this game. So don't change the dial just yet. Don't go off of YouTube. Don't go off the app. Just keep bear with us, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll get back in this game in no time. Yes, because I know we're down by 28, but last week we're down 21, and we made a great comeback, just fell short. So anything's possible. G sends J motion. He's going to roll. He's going to throw it. That's going to be caught by Carmack. Carmack's just going to go down at about the 43-yard line on the play. And that'll be a first down for the Panthers. And just like that, the Panthers are moving the ball down the field once again, as we saw they did right before halftime. It'll be first and 10 on the 37-yard line of Bryant. 10-10 left at the third quarter play. Cavett still down by a couple of scores. What? She's in shotgun formation still, has three receivers out left. Calls for snap, pump fakes. Has a man deep, that's Trey Birdsong. Can he break away from separation? That's oh. oh, almost caught. Just overthrew him just a tad bit. If Birdsong would have got away from his defender and got under that just a little bit more, it could be 35-13 to 13 right now. That was a great play called there from the Panthers. as a G. Pump fake to Jay as Jay came back for the screen play as a decoy. Threw it deep downfield to number 23, Trey Birdsong, and they were so close to getting that touchdown. Here we go, second and 10 here from the 37. Still got three out left. G hands the ball off, around to the right, breaks away from one, tries to break away from, away from another, but really doesn't gain much on that play, if any at all. It's number 24, Mason Bell on the carry. He may have gotten three yards at the most there, so it'll be third and seven coming up for the Panthers. Well, third down is where the Panthers have really came to play. I mean, there was a couple where we, you know, had the sack or we had a false or we had a fumbled snap, but so far, any other time, we've been able to get the first down, and I do believe our only touchdown was on a third down play. I think you're right about that. G sends Jay in motion. G, he's going to drop back looks, dumps it off. Oh, oh, he gets hit as he, Mason Bell was the attendant target there. He had the ball, then just got hit right away, forcing the incompletion. And the Panthers will be going for it here, which you're down 28. You got to do anything to get back into this game. All right, now the Panthers are just playing. Hey, let's go score. Let's come back. Let's get back in this game. Type of type of offense. And I love it. I mean, they act like they have not, nothing to lose. I mean, they don't. You I mean, a lot of people coming into this game thought that the Bryant Hornets were going to run away with this. Look, we just need a score here. They don't force the offsides here, so they'll get the play. Either that or call a timeout. There's three seconds on the play clock. G drops back, looks, throws it over the middle. That's going to be popped up. That's almost going to be caught. It'll be incomplete there for the Panthers. And the Panther defense get their first stop of the game, and Cabot just couldn't come away with a score. So after the turnover on downs, it'll be first and 10 for the Hornets on the Bryant 34-yard line with 9.06 left to go here in the third quarter. And we need another Panther stop as they've only gotten one so far in tonight's game. A little bit of shotgun formation here. Calls for it, fakes the handoff, throws it over the middle. That's just going to be bobbled and dropped. Justin Carr, number 44, try to make a play on it, try to get an interception after the ball had already hit the ground. Incomplete second now coming up for the Hornets. Number seven was the intended receiver. That's Corey Nichols for the Bryant Hornets. Corey Nichols, he had a, he had a touchdown early on, two touchdowns early on in tonight's contest. So they could be looking to keep going to him in tonight's game if they continue throwing the ball. We know how good they ran the ball the first half. Oh, for sure. I mean, Corey Nichols had the first two touchdowns of tonight's game, and Ever since then, they just kept it on the ground and ran all over us. A little better calls for the snap. Just a little halfback pitch there as they're just going to wrestle yeah. him down there as they're going to keep on driving him back. What a great stop there by the Cabot Panther defense on the run play. That was number 18 along with number 92, Jose Hernandez and Jared Whitman bringing them down. Great play by the linebacker and the defensive tackle. So – Big third down coming up. Could be a little bit of the momentum shifter if Cabot is able to stop them here. The Panthers, they've really done good these past two drives, especially defense. They're probably, as they said, they got a good chewing during halftime, so they're probably mad and ready to come back out there and get the ball back to their offense. Here we go, third and nine. 
Ledbetter, cross for snap, he's gonna drop back, looks. He'll be just throwing a little screen there and he'll be wrapped up before he can get the first down. Great tackle there by the Panther defense. Stop him short of the first down. And Ryan is staying out on the field. They could be just try to get the force uh, offsides. And they will be going for it. You need a big stop. Watch the ball. Don't jump off sides. Watch the ball here, defense lineman, especially. Ledbetter shotgun formation. Calls for snap. He hands the ball off. He'll be stuck. Oh, no, he got uh, it. I don't uh, know. I don't they're know. They're pushing him back. They're pushing him back. I, I don't think he got it. I don't think he got it. But I think they're going to give it to him because we're all at Bryant. And here we go. That's close. And first down. He, he, yeah, I mean, how much more does the defensive line need? I mean, I mean, we saw him run up the goal. We saw him get stopped. Sure, if it was an inch, sure, but they should have brought up the chains on that one. Oh, uh. Regardless, it's now first and ten for the Hornets on the 49-yard line. Led better in shotgun formation. Still two receivers out left and right. Calls for a snap, high snap, hands it off, runs up the middle before he's dropped, maybe gaining two or three on the play. Man, that's killer to the drive. You thought you stopped him on fourth down, and then they decided to give it to him. I mean, I just, like I said, I just don't understand what more the defensive line needed on that one. I mean, they stopped him an inch short. They got to the line, hit him, wrapped him up, and then at the end of the play, we were pushing him backwards, so. Either way, second down for Bryant. Second to seven on 48 here. Little better call for the snap. Hand it off once again around to the outside. He has open green there. He'll truck a man and he'll keep going and get the first down. This game has really been physical all night so far and much of the, much of the same expected here in tonight's second half. And right now, it looks like Bryant's finally getting their run, run game going once again. So first and 10 on the 37, 6, 20 left to go in the third quarter here. Ledbetter calls for a snap, hands the ball off once again. He's around to the outside, breaks away from one, breaks away from two. He's just carrying the defender with him before he's pushed out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. And that'll be a, at least a 12-yard game there for the Hornets, and they're on another drive looking to score once again. 6.07 left in tonight's third quarter. Fresh new set of downs here for the Hornets. Six oh three Cox winding down here. Led better. Shotgun formation. Calls for snap. Hands it off once again. And he just falls. Maybe he's starting to run out of gas here. Because there's a cramp. That's number 42, Hewitt Helton. Getting a cramp on the play. We'll take a break due to the injury. We'll be right back after this. We're back after Hewitt Helton's injury here. It's just a cramp. He appears to be fine. He's walking off the field in his own power. So it's second and nine for the Bryant Hornets after the stop, after the trip up of the running back here. Tackle credit goes to the 30, about 24 <laughs> yard line. <laughs> Tripping up there, maybe need to move a piece of trash out of the way. 544 left. Ledbetter's going to pump fake. Throws it deep, has, has a man. man. Oh, my gosh. And wide open for a touchdown, and Bryant scores once again. Had a, Ledbetter had a defender in his face, but 
the receiver he threw to was wide open. And just like that, it's 41 to seven with 536 left. I'm, I'm out of words there. I mean, <laughs> we had what, four guys on him? Well, I mean, we had one guy put, rushing the quarterback. Well, we didn't have any guys on that receiver. He was wide open. Well, in the towards the end, of, when the pass came down, he, we had like four guys surround him. I don't yeah. see how one couldn't just stick his hand up and knock the ball. But and it'll be forty-two to seven with five thirty-six left. Panthers kick return will be coming out shortly on the field. But this game has basically been all Bryant. I'm pretty sure Bryant's one touchdown away from getting mercy rule to clock back in, which that would mean the clock will just keep running no matter what unless there's an injury or timeout. Well, I still mean, a lot of game left. There's still a lot of game. You got 536 left in the third quarter. Then you have a whole nother 12 minutes to play in the fourth quarter. But if we're going to come back, it needs to start right now. We need quick scores and then just quick quick defensive stops we have to force turnovers that's the only way we're going to get him back tonight's game if our, we can start scoring and defense can just keep get turnovers just force turnovers of any kind well, like you said we need some quick scores so hopefully Bryant can make the mistake of kicking the Braden Jay on this play and Jay can take it for six we just need scores no matter what whoever it's kicked to Comes the kick, it's a high kick. Be to Mason Bell. Filled it around the 10 yard line, gets a couple blocks. Before he's wrapped up and dropped by, looked to be number 81 number on the 81. play. So here comes the Cabot offense here, trying to put a couple drives together so far. Hasn't really been able to find their strides in the second half yet, but it's 520 left here in the third quarter play. First and 10 on the 29 yard line, as the clock is just gonna roll. So. Yeah, we're at mercy rule right now. Down by 35, and so the clock will just keep running until we score and make it a 28-point game. So Bryant has to be familiar to getting mercy rules a lot. She's just going to hand the ball off there, up the gut. He tries to go somewhere before he's dropped at about the 35-yard line. Be 440 left coming on. And yeah, Jacob Parks on the carry. It'll be second and four five for the Panthers coming up. 425 still. Mercy for in effect. I hand the ball off once again. Breaks right to the outside. Is it's enough for a first down there for Cabot. Be a good run there from number 20, Jacob Parks. Will be another first and 10 as clock is just going to keep rolling. Four minutes is approaching in tonight's third quarter. Be a first and 10 here on the 41 for Cabot. G shock information. Calls for snap, drops back, looks, throws it over the middle, has a man. That's going to be Brayden J. He catches it. He breaks away from one. He's still on his feet. He breaks away from the same defender again. He's still going at the 24-yard line. What a what great a play there by Brayden J. I like the fight from Brayden J there. You may be down big, but he's still out here. I'm going to play to the final whistle in tonight's game. And that's what you need out of this. I, you're down big. You just have to have a bunch of guys on your team be like, all right, get that through your mind and just play as hard as you can to make to somehow get back in tonight's game. And what a play by Braden Jay. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. They couldn't get any worse, and he will rumble and be down around the three-yard line as Tyler G's option play went straight to the Bryant Hornet defense there. And Bryant will get the ball right back. And Bryant just 
kickoff. That option play did not work at all. We had a great pass and then we went with an option play and G just tossed it right towards the Bryant defender as he read that play right up and it'll be a handoff up the middle and he'll be stopped around the one or two yard line. So it'll be second and goal. Two minutes coming up left in tonight's third quarter. Your Panthers are down 42 to seven. Well, Brian's in the red zone after the play. He'll be, He'll be stopped again. Stopped again. Great play by the defensive line. It'll be third and goal coming up. Bryant has subbed in number 16, Carson Burnett, at quarterback, giving Austin Ledbetter rest as they are up 42 to 7. 125 coming up in tonight's third quarter. Third and goal here. Panthers looking for a goal line stop of some kind. And Bryant's just going to take their time, let the clock wind down as we're coming up around 108 left. Calls for a snap, hands it off once again, and he'll be dropped. I mean, they stopped him. I mean, great play by the de defense. Yeah, Bryant may have some of backups in, but hey, we got to stop. You have to think about the positives here as 45 seconds left in the third quarter and they'll bring out the field go unit. And so great play by the great plays by the defense there. Didn't give up a touchdown. So coming out for the field goal team will be Bryant looking to put them up by 38. Oh, it a I snap. snap. And just like that, and they will stop on it around. And they don't come away with any score, and the clock will probably run down to the fourth quarter. But the Panthers, we gave up bad play on offense. Defense came up big, and we didn't give up any points as we will go into the fourth quarter. Your Panthers are down 42-7. to We'll be right back at the start of the fourth. We're back here at the start of the fourth quarter. It's quarterback change. Grant Freeman is now in for Tyler G. Well, right now, they're just probably putting backups. Games, I don't want to say it's over, but it's getting to the point where it's almost over. And you have number 21, LaMelo Reed, in the backfield as a running back for the Panthers. And the win picks up once again. LaMelo is running great there. <coughs> Excuse me, wind got my throat. Great run there. Dropped at the 40 yard line. The second and about four coming up for the Panthers. 11 40 coming up on the So it'll be second down here for the Panthers. Freeman shotgun formation. Calls for the snap. High snap. He'll keep it himself. We'll get two yards maybe, so it'll be third and three coming up for the Panthers. 11, 10 left in tonight's game. Number 82, Connor Oregon checking in now. Maybe going to give extra protection on the offensive front. Receivers wide, one solo, 15 Chandler Carter. He has draw play up the middle. Lamella Reed will get good yardage and get a first down for the Panthers. Well, I mean, I mean that's what you want your offense to do. You want them to go out and give you yards, and that's what Lamella Reed's doing right now. Now, well, maybe just the backups out there right now, but it's good to see 
you can trust some of these backups to come in, give you yards if someone comes down comes down with an injury, we can see them coming in and be able to take over the spot. It'll be a handoff to Lamello as he was just wrapped up in the backfield by Bryant. 10-10, Mercy Rule still in effect here as Cabot was unable to score so far to make it stop. Is there a second 11 on the 49 yard line? Just under 10 minutes now, the fourth quarter. Here comes Grant Freeman and company. Number 35. Backfield for the Panthers. Freeman drops back, looks, throws it deep, has a man. That's going to be caught. That'll he gets a, a first, first down. down. And that's number 15, Chandler Carter on the reception. And great pass there by Grant Freeman as he found the open man for a first down. So the clock's going to keep running here unless Cabot can score to stop the mercy roll. Be 9 15 left in tonight's game as the clock is quickly running down. Freeman calls for the snap, hands it off once again, has a great blocks. He's into the second line of defense, and he'll be brought down at about the 25 yard line. That's number 39, Yvonne, Yvonne Jimerson on the carry for the Panthers. 852 can count and left in tonight's game. We want to thank, go ahead and thank everybody for watching tonight's game. We're not going anywhere just yet. No, no, we're not going anywhere until the final buzzer. But just wanted to give everybody a quick thanks for tuning in tonight's game. Grant Freeman drops back, looks, throws it, has a man. It'll Flag a, comes out. So that'll be pass interference against Bryant, and that's a 15-yard penalty, and that'll set the Panthers up with good field position. So, Cooper, let me ask you, after tonight's loss, Cabot becomes, what, 5-2? What is Correct. it? What, what does that do for the current playoff standings that you think? Because I know we don't have an accurate representation as of right now. Oh, well, right now is Bryant's probably going to go on win out unless North Little Rock can beat them, and they'll end up. Bryant's probably going to win conference, well, it's the seven A conference overall. And so that'll put Bryant at a bye. Depending on how North Little Rock finishes out, gives them out a bye. You have to think about the Northwest Arkansas team. So. If we can win out after this game, I feel like we could have a maybe one or two home games for playoffs. It'll be a handoff to the outside. Lamella Reed breaks one, gets a couple, and it'll be brought down around the five-yard line. But with playoffs, after this game, we need to win out if we want the best home field advantage so we don't end up having to do what we did last year and go up to Fayetteville or a Northwest Arkansas team. We need to get some type of home field advantage. And I'm depending on how everyone else does, if we can win out, I feel like we could possibly sneak in a first round bye. Well, that would be good for all of us if we got that first round bye. Yeah. Freeman calls for a snap. Caleb Allen. Oh, excuse me, Caleb Allen is in now. He'll be stopped in the backfield as they try to run the option play there. And it'll be third and about four. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, next week at home is senior night for your Panthers. So come out, support your uh, senior ROTC members, ROTC band members, ROTC, or wow, can't believe <laughs> I said ROTC. Senior band members, senior football players, senior, senior broadcasters. Senior broadcast, and we'll be taking on the Northside Grizzlies. And Lamella Reed will just be stopped at the line, so it'll bring up fourth down for the Panthers. It looks like they will be going for it. And next week we'll be taking on the Northside Grizzlies as last year we went to Northside and really had our way with them as we had a big win. We beat them pretty bad. I th can't remember the final score, but I think we, we let up one touchdown. But was, I do believe it was kind of similar to the score right now. Yeah, I do remember that. And they'll hand off, do a little reverse play. He gets outside corner, and he will go to the end zone. Touchdown, Panthers. Great play there. You have the double reverse. No one out there, and the Panthers get on the board with 6 nine, 18 left. The mercy rule will still keep going. And touchdown, Panthers. That was a great play drawn up, double reverse and everything. That was number 84, Ethan Kemp, 
on the touchdown. As it looks like we will kick the PAT. I thought we were going for for two there for a second. Kick is up, and the kick is good. That was a great drive there by the Panthers to get some sort of points on the board. So your scores now is the Bryant Hornets. 42. The Cabot Panthers, 14. Well, that score right there, that's just showing we still have fight no matter what. We brought in the backups, and they were able to go downfield and score. So that's props to them. Good drive called up by Coach Reed, and you had Grant Freeman, Caleb Allen. You had good running by LaMelo Reed and just a good offensive drive there. Well, like we were saying, this shows the continued fighting of the Panthers that we have seen them have all year long. And, I mean, like we were talking about earlier, we came into the, we all knew coming into this game that Bryant was the un, unarguably the best team in Arkansas. They're yeah. undefeated. They've had their way with just about every, everybody. The only people team that really gave them struggle was Trinity Christian up in Texas, which – They I were mean, a really good team, yeah. Coach. Deion Sanders' son on there. If, prime time <laughs> so that just shows you how good Brian is this year I mean they brought a one of the good one of the top teams in Texas came to Bryant played and Bryant had their way with them at one point they were up by maybe 28 to 7 at one point but they fought back but Bryant still won that game so Bryant's on back-to-back -back state titles and right now they're probably thinking of a three-peat well they still have say two games if none of them gets canceled, they still have the, especially the North Florida Rock game. The North Florida Rock game is going to be Bryant's biggest test. I think and that's next week, pretty sure. Yeah, I do believe so because they always play them when we play Fort Smith Northside. Yeah. So that's going to be next week for the Bryant Hornets looking ahead. And that's always their big test is them. Uh, and like like you said, we have North Fort Side, or North Side next week. And then after that, we go to North Florida Rock to play charging Wildcats. Which last year when we played North Little Rock, we had our way all game and just lost by one point at the end, which is heartbreaking. And with playoffs with that game, if we were won, we would have had a home field advantage game, but we had to go to Fayetteville. And right now, if I'm being completely honest, we need to do whatever we can do to get farther away from Bryant on the bracket because you don't want to go win week one then have to turn around and play Hornets you want to hopefully if anything catch them late or have someone maybe have an upset but if you do play them you got to give it all you got for playoffs because I know these seniors on this team as weird as this season's been we want that ring just as bad as anyone else in the state of Arkansas well you bring up a good point and I remember last year very well I remember you telling me the story that last year's uh, Fayetteville game was, hey, whoever wins is going to play Bryant. Yeah. So, I mean, after Carmack went down with his scary injury, uh, both teams were just like, hey, I mean, it's kind of a lose-lose here. I mean, sure, you might win the first round, but you got to go play Bryant. Yeah. And so, like you said, we need to get as far away from them in the bracket as possible and hope for an upset. And, I mean, hey. Anything can happen. It's high school oh, football. Oh, yeah, anything I mean. can happen. But what I was going to say was, my point was, I want to see – what a Panther Stadium playoff atmosphere is like. I've never experienced this. I'm sure you have with your dad being the coach and everything, one of the coaches, but I want to experience that as not only as a commentator, but especially as a senior. Yeah, it's, it's a sight to see um, a couple years back, say 2013, it was my brother's senior year, and Bryant will run down to the almost 50 yard line. But. Sell out crowd, we're playing North Little Rock, and whoever won that would go to the state championship game. This game went back and forth, went into overtime. We scored. North Little Rock got the ball, scored, and then we scored. We go up to the line, had a play, called a timeout, went for two, got it. And I've never seen Panther Stadium that round. We rushed the field. It was a sight to see. So I hope we get a play home playoff game this year. Almost oh, certainly. I mean, even on far away games like this, or there's not necessarily a far game, but uh, games like this, games like Collierville this past year, you always have your core fans that come out and, I mean, hey, oh, that's a face mask. Now that's all. That's an offensive hands to the face if I've ever seen it. <laughs> right. But, but anyways. There will be one ten coming up. Sorry for interrupting. Oh, you're just. fine, man. I'm glad you said a time check. I honestly forgot about the time <laughs> Uh, 
But anyways, I'm sure regardless of who we play, if we play anybody, like if we play Fayetteville coming down, if we play North Little Rock, if we play Northside if they get in, uh, I'm sure that the Panther faithful, whether they're still watching since tonight's an away game or they're here or even the student section, I know how wild that can get with leader Zach Hardcastle. I know <laughs> that that can get kind of rowdy, but I'm just excited to see some playoff football. Oh, for sure. And to be honest, I'm just so glad we made it this far with everything going on. I mean, I mean, with the loss of Marlon Crockett early in the season. Well, just everything going on in the world right now. I mean, who would have thought we would have made it to week seven of the high school season? But and that will be the end of tonight's game as there's 15 seconds left. Cabot came in, played hard, just came up short. And Bryant will take the victory. They'll be undefeated still. Bryant will drop, go to seven and zero, and the Panthers will go to five and two. And we want to thank you all for watching tonight, or even coming out and supporting your Panthers. But your final score is 42-14, Bryant Hornets. Uh, hope you too. We'll see you next week for Senior Night. Go Panthers.